What's happening, comic fans? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Today, we're going to talk about these two big books in front of me. I'm talking about Shaolin Cowboy, uh, the Jeff Darrow's creation uh, that, that was published by Dark Horse in these nice, oversized hardcover formats. Um, so let's dive in. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Just going to say it right off the bat. Um, we post content daily, so if you're interested in this, you're going to be interested in whatever else we do. Um, hit that notification bell. It'll let you know whenever we post a new video. Um, check out our Patreon as well. For as little as a dollar, you have a chance to win a hardcover comic. That could be a deluxe edition, an omnibus, an absolute edition. Check out the, the link down in the description below for more details on that. And lastly, check out our sponsor, Dr. Squatch. They are a soap subscription service that brings soap to your door as many times as you want. And with the link down in the description below, you'll get free shipping on your subscription for the entirety of it. It's pretty sweet. Check that out as well. So a little background info on Jeff Darrow. Um, so Matt and I, back in 2017, went to Planet Comic Con. We met a lot of awesome dudes like Matt Kent, uh, Ryan Brown. Jeff Darrow was, was one of the guys that we actually uh, met that day. And, um, you know, I was telling him what a big fan I was of uh, Shaolin Cowboy. I think at that time I had just bought in the books. Um, I don't know if these are actually signed by him. I, I, I'm blanking. But um, I, was, I was thrilled to meet him because he's amazing. And he was just sitting there, you know, doodling something. He was drawing pretty much on the entire cover of his, uh, of his table. And um, he wasn't too talkative. I got kind of bummed out because uh, I did enjoy what I read here. It was, it was fun. His artwork is in, insanely good. And um, I was a little bummed out, but I do like his artwork nonetheless, regardless of what that experience was like. I still had fun at the con and uh, seeing him draw what cra whatever craziness he was drawing was incredible because it was really, really cool. Anyway, so Jeff Darrow's uh, back in 1982 met Mobius. He was Mobius was his mentor. Um, for those of you that are unaware of who Mobius is, he is the artist who has done um, incredible pieces of comic work, uh, most notably the Inkle with uh, Alejandro Hodorowski. Um, a huge, huge series um, with in insanely beautiful artwork. Mobius is one of the best artists um, on the planet, in my opinion. And uh, so Jeff Darrow was mentored by him, and then Mobius introduced him to Frank Miller. And with Frank Miller, he did Hard Boiled. Um, I always forget the name of this one. Uh, the Big Guy and Rusty the Boy Robot, um, which was a really, really fun book as well. And those were published by Dark Horse in these large, oversized hardcover formats as well. So you get these nice, big books to see all the artwork in. But Shaolin Cowboy, okay, so um, these two hardcovers collect the more recent Shaolin Cowboy minis. There were four issues each, um, so you had, you know, Shemp Buffet and um, Who Will Stop the Rain. They also recently reprinted the original seven uh, issues that were published through Burley Man Comics, I believe, uh, in the same hardcover format with just a green color here instead of the blue. So um, I may have to pick that up soon because these books, I think, have gone out of print and they're a little expensive to get. And they're really cool books. They're they're unique. So what's happening in Shaolin Cowboys, you've got this character um, who is essentially a Shaolin uh, monk who, you know, dresses like a cowboy. And uh, and in Shem Buffet, it's sort of him versus a, an army, a sea of zombies. And he's got this dual... Uh, dual chainsaw um, pole arm and it's it's in, it's incredible the artwork is sensational um, you get it's a, a whole bunch of action you're just flipping through these pages and you're like oh my god this is like in I wonder how much time Jeff Darrow's truly spent on this there's so much detail from you know the soda cans on the ground to the shoelace of someone running by to the tattoos on these zombies bodies it's insane and then in who'll stop the rain you get sort of the continuation of what happened here um, and you're, you're seeing him in town and he's dealing with all these other characters. So you start seeing these other characters in the universe that um, uh, our Shaolin uh, cowboy character has affected and uh, how they want revenge for him. And they're crazy characters. It's not like normal people. It's uh, there's a crab who basically possesses people, King Crab. Um, and then I forget the name of the giant pig, but it's it's absolutely ridiculous what happens in this book. And uh, it's sort of what I've I've read uh, about Jeff Darrow himself is he's one of these artists who takes the reins on things. So even when he was working with Frank Miller, uh, Frank Miller would have to change the script a lot because Jeff Darrow sort of said, hey, I want to draw the whole thing. Give me a general outline of what you want to do. And I'm going to draw the whole thing. And then you just add in the text. It's a Marvel method, right? But um, that's obviously a big deal when you're doing like a creator owned book because that you need a little more um, synchronicity. But either way, it worked out for them because Jeff Darrow has won a whole bunch of Eisners. He's been nominated a slew of times and he's won a bunch of times. He's he, he's tr a truly sensational artist. And in, in Who'll Stop the Rain, you get a lot more variety in terms of the artwork. 
Whereas in Shemp Buffet, you're getting him slaughter basically the same zombies over and over again with variations in design. But here you're getting a, a city, you're getting to see gas stations and all these incredible little details in the background. And this is the only way I think you should be able, you should experience it. It's uh, there's so much detail that even this format, I wish it was a little bit bigger. But um, we got what we got, and uh, I'm happy we did. So um, have you checked out Shaolin Cowboy? It's it's a really unique book, um, and, you know, it's something I've reread a few times because it's fun. It's not, a, you know, it doesn't take you a very long time to read, and you just get to enjoy the artwork and, uh, and sort of imagine what's going on in between the panels. It's really sensational. Have you guys read Shaolin Cowboy? What are your thoughts on it? Have you read the original seven that have recently been reprinted? How good was that? Is that worth picking up? Um, let us know down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe. We post content daily, stuff like this every single day. Um, so uh, I'm sure you'll dig it. And um, please be sure to check out our Patreon if you're interested in the chance to win a hardcover comic for as little as a dollar a month. That's the place to go. There's a link down in the description below. And lastly, check out Dr. Squatch. They're a soap subscription company, an organic soap company that doesn't use chemicals and parabens like other store brand soaps do. And um, with the link down in the description below, you'll get free shipping on your entire subscription for as long as you have it. It's a great deal, so check that out down below. And thank you all very much for tuning in. Um, always love talking about ninjas and, well, cowboys and Shaolin uh, monks and all that. So I'm, I'm glad you guys were uh, here to stick around for it. And um, until next time... As always, you stay classy, Internet.